My name is Yashwant and I'm a PhD student at the Indian Institute of Science. My PhD deals with IRS-aided wireless communications, low complexity techniques and analysis. Intelligent reflecting surfaces are also called as reconfigurable intelligent surfaces. We can think of them as tunable RF mirrors with several reconfigurable passive elements that consume negligible power. The main principle of an IRS is to reflect the signals in desired directions and control the overall wireless channel between any two nodes. This is exciting because by optimizing the reflection coefficients of the IRS elements, we can enhance the data rates at low power and also enable long distance communications. The picture here illustrates how an IRS works. A signal from the base station hits the iris, which then applies an optimized reflection pattern and the reflected signal is received by the user. IRSs are a hot research topic with about 3000 IEEE papers and several industrial prototypes. However, using IRSs in practice comes with painful threefold overheads. The first is the channel acquisition, which involves learning the wireless channel and this consumes more time and resources. The second is tuning of IRS coefficients, which solves a difficult optimization problem. The third is control signaling step that requires an error-free control communication from the base station to IRS to program the reflection coefficients. These steps incur significant overhead and can potentially undermine the benefits of using an IRS. So the central research question that we address is how do we get IRS gain without pain? We answer this via a two-phase procedure as shown in the flowchart here. In the first step, the IRS coefficients are randomly sampled, that is, the IRS is set to a random reflection pattern which does not require solving a complicated optimization problem. In the next step, the base station selects a user equipment that obtains the largest data rate under this random configuration and transmits data to that user. And these steps repeat in every time slot. The premise of this scheme is that even with a random IRS, some users will naturally experience a favorable channel. Then by exploiting the opportunity to select the best user that obtains the largest data rate among other users, we can achieve nearly optimal performance without incurring the painful threefold optimization overheads. In nutshell, we turn the randomness of IRS configurations into an advantage and hence call this approach IRS assisted opportunistic communications. We also experimentally validate IRS aided opportunistic communications on a real time 5G testbed, and the setup is shown here. Besides the problem addressed in the previous slides, my PhD addressed several other important problems as well. First, in practice, multiple mobile operators exist in a given area and serve different users subscribed to them on different frequency bands. But since an IRS is passive, it reflects signals of all operators. We showed that an IRS helps every mobile operator even if it is controlled by only one mobile operator. In another work, we addressed optimizing a large IRS to reflect signals with high bandwidths, again using the idea of opportunistic communications. The final work deals with improving spatial multiplexing benefits using multiple IRSs. Multiplexing refers to the simultaneous transmission of multiple independent data streams, which in turn increases the overall data rate. For this, we use the concept of coupon collection in a lottery system and quantify the number of IRSs required to obtain maximum multiplexing benefit. To conclude, my PhD thesis explains how even a randomly configured IRS can benefit next generation wireless systems and related publications are shown here. Thank you.